Speaking yesterday, President Trump at the White House, he said he wants Congress to put an end to those surprise medical bills. Alex Azar joins us now, Health and Human Services Secretary. Mr. Secretary, take me through the mechanics of this. How do you come up with wording of legislation that will stop those unpleasant and surprising medical bills? So, Stuart, great to be back with you. Yep. Uh, so it's really quite simple. What the president has laid out are principles he's calling on Congress to enact uh, as a, as on a bipartisan basis. And essentially what it would say is when you go to a hospital on an emergency basis, you, the patient, should never get a surprise bill. If an anesthesiologist, if an ER doctor happens to work on you when you're there on an emergency basis, it's not your fault that they don't have a contract with your insurance company and are out of network. You ought not to get that bill for any balance. You ought to be charged in-network charges and the hospital ought to absorb that and, and have the incentive to bring those, anyone working in their facility, into the network. How, and then, if you're going into a facility that is out of network or for an, for an elective procedure, you ought to have full information ahead of time about who's going to be giving you care and what their charges will be so you can make an informed choice about whether you want to get your procedure done there or somewhere else. Okay, I think we understand exactly how you propose to do this. Okay, I want to move on to Gilead Sciences, a drug company. Uh, they are donating billions, plural, billions of dollars worth of their HIV prevention drugs. That to, to, over the next 10 years, I think it is. How did you get them to do that? I mean, are they looking for good PR, or did you strong arm in them into it? What do you do? Well, this is where having President Trump as the deal master in charge and uh, setting up a whole executive branch that's about getting the best deal for taxpayers uh, it bears fruit. Uh, we've got a team here that's really focused on how can we deliver against this agenda that the president has set out to end the HIV epidemic in the United States within the next 10 years. And as part of that, a key part of that is for people who are at risk of contracting HIV, they need to be on this drug called PrEP. It has 97% efficacy at keeping people at risk from catching, from getting HIV, but it's expensive. And what we've been able to do is negotiate a donation, a donation by Gilead of two, enough drug for, to care for 200,000 people every single year for up, up to 2030. So billions of dollars of donation to the, U, to, 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 to the U.S. that will be devoted to the uninsured and those who can't afford access to this medicine. Good news indeed. Alex historic, Azar, historic HH, news. It, it really is, actually. That's a huge amount of money. What, a, what an effort there. Mr. Secretary, thanks for joining us, sir. We always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.